Hello, it's Tuesday, and we're back with the one more show of, Tuesday, uh, of uh, Neighborhood News. Um, I don't know if Steve can hear me. Um, we have no sound, um, but anyway, I, I think we are, we are okay. Um, today, um, John is not here because John is uh, in vacation and uh, with his wife. It, that's his... Uh, uh, 30 anniversary and he took off for a week good for him and uh, uh, happy anniversary for him and for his wife so I'm gonna have to do the show alone uh, usually when we, when we don't have a guest we will talk um, but I will want to make sure that I had um, guests for the uh, for this week and next week's show um, what else? We have City Council Jason Correa, um, the second. Everybody, it's a, it's a young face at City Council that everybody um, gets familiar already with. Uh, yeah. I say that's the City Council from the 21st century because um, it's a City Council that can be, um, um, we can get in touch with him either on, on the cell phone or an email text. or, you know, it's <laughs> text, any way you want to get in touch. That's, he has all, all the <laughs> new technology to, uh, right. and in top, we know where he lives too, so, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is very good. Um, and the reason I, I invite him today, um, and I want to spend half an hour talking about an issue that um, I think the city councils are um, using mm. uh, this just sometimes to um, get the extra vote. Yep. They will um, be against in, in one month, and on the following month, they will go for it because right. guess what? The chamber is full of people and I need everybody's vote, so I'm gonna, but a, a lot of people, including me, mm -hmm. um, have a lot of questions because we hear the city council talking about bond um, for the city. People say it's good to, to do it. Some, some city council say it's bad to do it, but we want to hear the two sides. Sure. Of, uh, uh, of the issue and when is a good time to do it for what is a good reason to do it and vice versa so um, Jason just tell us a little bit how how it works yeah, and, sure. and uh, how that c that money comes about yeah, absolutely well thanks for having me on Carlos I appreciate it uh, I always love to come on the show and, and connect with the people through another medium, which is great to be able to connect with them through, mm -hmm. uh, through TV as well. Um, but bonding, you're absolutely right, has become a hot topic. Uh, you know, we've even joked about ha uh, some councillors having bond phobia yeah. and being scared of, <laughs> yeah. uh, of, uh, of approving any bonds at all, especially, um, you know, last year during the budgetary season. So just to give people an overview of how bonding works and what it is, is bonding is basically the, the city's line of credit, <laughs> but it's closer to like a mortgage instead of because you can stretch it out really long term and make payments that are going to be exact versus a credit card. It's not like a credit card because a credit card is based on a certain amount of credit that, that you're going to have with a high interest rate and double payments, et cetera. So it's very different. Um, there are no APRs or anything like that. Uh, and the interest rates for a city, because we're so vast, because we're so large, are extremely low. Um, we're talking about at times when we go into two different types of bonding, by the way, the short term and the long term and the city has to bond responsibly, responsibly um, when choosing short term or long term. When we decide to bond for something, so if we're gonna buy this table, is it a good idea to bond for it or is it a good idea to pay for it out of free cash? Well, as you know, Carlos, we don't have any free cash now. Mm -hmm. So we have no money in our savings account as a city, which is a big, big problem. Communities around us do. Millions of dollars in their, uh, in their funds. New Bedford itself has about eight million. Fall River has, as, as of right now, 399000 That's probably going to go away during the budgetary season. They'll need it for the, for the next year's budget. So if we were going to bond to buy this table, we would look at which category would it fall in, short term or long term. And then we would see the useful life is the term that they use, useful life of that product or of that you know, car for the police officers or um, a park or whatever. 
Of course, land has an extremely long, useful life. Mm -hmm. It's there forever. So when you bond for a park, it's going to be there hopefully forever, and you know it's never going to change. So that has a very long, useful life. So you can stretch it out 30 years and make payments. Mm -hmm. Because even after 30 years, it's still going to be a park. So that's kind of the, uh, the idea of bonding, of how it works. So mm -hmm. think of it as kind of like a mortgage, but it's a much higher, it's a mortgage with, with a credit limit of how much mm -hmm. you can borrow. So, so if, uh, um, if works kind of a, as a credit, um, if we want to 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 uh, to buy a car, we're gonna have to give a deposit, mm -hmm. and we're gonna finance the rest. That's a, that's a guarantee of the bank that he already has part of that value of of, of, of that he's gonna well, loan. So, uh, on the city side, do we need to have money or, no. or to 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 bond for stuff? No. The city doesn't have to because the city's bond rating is its credit worthiness based on um, on its rating. So we had a at one point a double A. I believe we're now down to an A uh, bond rating. Last time I checked, and that is the that's almost like our credit score, mm -hmm. and that tells the creditors out in the marketplace mm -hmm. that okay, the city of Fall River is a strong um, candidate for bonding. We can give X amount of dollars at a very low interest rate, one to two to three percent. Mm -hmm. I very rarely even see anything higher than three percent. Mm -hmm. So we're not talking credit card rates of you yeah. know fifteen, twenty percent. We're not talking about even mortgage rates of three to four, five percent. Mm -hmm. We're talking one to two percent on things that we at times don't want to use free cash if we had it. Yes. Right now we're against the, we're, our backs are against the wall yes. because we don't have any free cash. Mm -hmm. But there are certain things that you do want to bond for, no matter what. Even if you had a hundred million dollars in free cash, there are things you want to bond for, because there's, a good, there's such, such a thing as, as you as you know, as good debt and bad debt. Mm -hmm. Debt that you have money work for you, mm -hmm. and debt that works against you. Mm -hmm. In Fall River, bonding is a way that we can bond for different projects that we need: infrastructure, cars, vehicles, things that we need now, that um, are at a very low interest rate. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this, and, and I'm just going to ask. Um, I won't be surprised if you don't have sure, the answers okay. or the question uh, or the numbers, mm -hmm. because I realize that you just on your <laughs> first first uh, um, uh, two year uh, uh, city council compared to people that are there for 20 years, they they should and know they might not even all the, the questions. <laughs> uh, but um, at this point, mm -hmm. how much has the city bounded so far? It's about two hundred and fifty million dollars, all time, like all time. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty million. And do we have any bonds that's uh, ending? Yes. So that I'm glad you brought that up. So the way it works is it's like a timeline, right? Mm -hmm. So every year, we're paying off debt. Yes. And some bonds that are from, you know, if you think about, let's say, thirty years ago, you're talking maybe the seventies, eighties, that we're paying them off now because mm -hmm. we've had them on the rolls for so long. Yes. So every year, every single year, there are bonds being paid off. Okay. Now let's say uh, right now, like last year, the payments, the bond payments were about $8 million every year from the budget. That's $8 million out of $270 million. Mm -hmm. That's a very small percentage. Mm -hmm. Very, very small percentage of the entire total budget that we're paying for all the things that we've had in the past. So if you remember back to the um, you know, Lambert administration, for example, mm -hmm. All the roads that were redone, those were bonds. Mm -hmm. Some of it was, was matched with grants, but it was also half bond, half match, which is a good way to do it. That's mm -hmm. not a bad thing. Then you, sit, you think about the parks under the last administration. Highland Park, a couple of the parks throughout the city. Some of that was bonding, mm -hmm. which you know added, added new debt. But to give you an idea of how it works, is if we pay off a million this year, that million is now accessible to us this year. Because there's never going to be a point in time the city is not like your household. Mm -hmm. We all want uh, out there, everybody wants to pay off their house, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to pay off their car. And you want to do it as fast as possible. That's not how a city works. A city is not a person. Yes. A city is a living body that has to take care of its citizens. Mm -hmm. So at any given time, the city should have good debt. Mm -hmm. Because that means it's always looking to buy something new for its citizens, for a better way of life. Mm -hmm. So when we take off a million dollars because we've paid it off, that's now a million dollars we can spend today on fire trucks, on uh, equipment for our firefighters, mm -hmm. all kinds of things, new roads. I mean, the potholes right now are just crazy. Yes. Yep. You know, that's what bonding is there to do. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's been used irresponsibly, as you know. 
sometimes like in the last administration we had some things that were bonded for for improvements in government center which we're not going to have we don't have to get into but yeah. when you look at things like that that don't need to be done when you look at tables and chairs and desks those are things that should be worked into the budget mm -hmm. not things that we're paying 30 years for a table exactly. of course that's crazy mm -hmm. that's crazy yes but if it's going to be a park or it's going to be a million dollar fire truck yeah, yeah. you're going to want to use bonding and mm -hmm. that's what it's there for and what did you think will be the total amount of bonding for Fall River? What do you mean? For, for How much time? can we bond? Oh, so when you look at the numbers, the city can bond $20 million a year mm -hmm. easily. Okay. Now, I'm not saying let's go. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> that's, exactly. That's the maximum. I mean, it's there, <laughs> it's there and, and but for <laughs> the emergency. Exactly. But don't go out and spend the whole twenty. Yes. But maybe there's a big project that we want to say, you know what, there's something that we need to do here in Fall River. It's a very important project. Um, that's, that's there for us. That's, that's ready to go. The other thing is I haven't seen a really, um, aside from the Route 79 project, which is all state funded. Yes. The city didn't pay any money mm -hmm. in that except in our taxes to the state. But the city didn't commit any money. Um, I haven't seen the city inv invest in an actual infrastructure project. Mm -hmm. I mean roads, bridges, whatever. The city has exactly. not invested. There are parts of the city, the, the industrial park is a great example. When I look to bond some, for something mm -hmm. as a city councilor, I look for my favorite phrase, ROI, return on investment. Mm -hmm. A perfect example is the industrial park. Our industrial park is one of the biggest employer area in the area, mm -hmm. right? As you know, but they don't have high-speed internet until last year. That's a problem. Then you look at other districts in the city where there are small business, like my own small business, I'm not in the industrial park, I'm a little bit further than downtown, I'm on the waterfront a little bit, no high-speed internet. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the South End, places with no high-speed internet. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can you live, in, like you were saying, the 21st century, operate a business, take credit card payments, et cetera, yes. with no high-speed internet? Mm -hmm. All the small businesses throughout the community have no options. They have to pay extreme amounts. Some of them have to put in their own internet. That's crazy. Those are the things that the city, it's part of infrastructure. Those are the things the city needs to invest in um, to make sure that businesses can compete, mm -hmm. make sure that they can thrive and, and grow. So uh, um, the, the way you um, mentioning is if we can bond 20 million a year. Mm -hmm. Not forever. Not forever, but, but yep. if we can, if that is the budget that we can bond 20 million, 20 minute, million a year, um, what will be the difference for us mm -hmm. to pay that back? I mean, how much will go up my tax? It my won't. It won't because what happens is this. 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 We could talk a whole. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and and uh, that's why I want. Yeah, the, yeah. I want the, the so people when when city council talk about mm -hmm. this issue. Um, and, and some city councils, they, they, they use that as a tool uh, for to them scare people. to scare people or, or, to, or to get that extra vote when the election comes. Yeah. Uh, I want people to be educated mm -hmm. as, as I, I'm, I'm trying mm -hmm. to educate myself yeah. so I can speak about right. not being afraid that I'm, I'm not getting the, or mm -hmm. giving the right information. This I can tell you with 100% certainty. Your taxes have gone up for the last how many years in a row? Mm -hmm. Five years at least mm -hmm. in a row, two and a half percent. Fees have gone up, water rates, sewer rates, it's all gone up. None of that, with the exception of the CSO project, exactly. has to anything to do with bonding. Mm -hmm. None of that money that was raised, the two million the four, or the four million, whatever it was, in your taxes going up, went to bonds. Mm -hmm. It all went to fill operational expenses okay. and there's two differences here there's the operational budget and then there's the bonds mm -hmm. the operational budget is what we pay every month and every year to operate the city mm -hmm. police salaries fire salaries city worker salaries dpw all those costs and not just salaries but their you know services gas for their cars everything in the operational budget is there in the operational budget mm -hmm. The two and a half percent, why your taxes go up every year, is because there have been very little cuts over time and very little management, proper management, of those departments. Mm -hmm. So we talked about gasoline, for example. That's part of the budget. All those little things add, add up. All kinds of stuff mm -hmm. that the city does on a daily basis could save paper, 
Talk about the amounts of paper in City Hall. How much paper we're buying, contracts for paper, mm -hmm. fences. We've talked about that as well. Mm -hmm. When you're renting fences instead of buying them, all those go into the operational budget. And every year the operational budget increases. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't increase by just a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Last year we had almost a six million dollar, at first it started at 17 million gap. Yes. And then we had those meetings and then they brought it down mm -hmm. to six million. And then eventually it was three million. And then it stayed at three. Mm -hmm. This year the mayor has already announced it's going to be a, approximately a six million dollar deficit. But in the operational budget, not because we've been bonding mm -hmm. all these years, because that is a fixed cost. So if, if, if we are um, good on a 20 million and if we bond, Five million, which is you know twenty five percent that we were supposed to, we could go a long way long with way. just bonding you right. know a quarter of exactly. we entitled to exactly, and now, that would not change anything right. on on our uh, 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 taxes, not taxes or, nothing or anything. The city tomorrow, if the city, I'll give you an example, if the city wanted to save the armory building, mm -hmm. it's not going to cost five million to do that, right? Mm -hmm. They could do that tomorrow if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Now, why they're choosing not to even address it, I don't know. But the city can essentially do almost any project it wants right now, mm -hmm. assuming that the cost is within the $20 million that I talked about. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind that the bonding cannot be, and a lot of people don't, don't know this, bond monies cannot be transferred for operational expenses. Or so used for anything else that not that uh, it wasn't specified, right. No, so if you're going to build a school with five million or a hundred million, whatever it's going to be, that's what the bond has to be used for, nothing else. Mm -hmm. It also, you'll, you'll never get approved by the bond council um, to use it for salaries or new firemen, because a lot of people ask me that. They say, oh, why don't we bond five million to hire, you know. It's, a, it's the same thing as we are uh, going to live on the credit card. You can't. You, can't, <laughs> you, you cannot can't live it. on the credit card. You can't do it. So yeah. it's, it's pretty much. So, uh, I mean, I hope that th this clarifies a so. lot of questions that people, um, because when, and, and I think that's what the city council is using this is, um, if you want a bond for this, don't, don't blame us if your tax is going to go up. You and know, that's not true. And, right. and, and, and that's not that's not the truth. That's not and the truth. and people are buying that mm -hmm. kind of yep. comments that they go there and they say, Don't think about bonding for that park because mm -hmm. I don't want my I don't want my money, my tax right. going into that, that park. Which is you know yeah, what we try to clarify. That's, not, that's, not that's why you every time that comes the issue of buying uh, property mm -hmm. of buying lands, you are always in favor and, and, and in favor of using That's bonding right. to buy it. Bond, uh, like I said earlier, the useful life is what you look at. Mm -hmm. Land has a very useful life. It's forever. It's land. Yes. So even if 10, 15 years from now, the city had that land, just like the schools, mm -hmm. they could sell that land. Mm -hmm. So it is a, now in the meantime, it's a park. So it's a very useful life, right? It's a long life. Mm -hmm. So that why that bond, every single time, uh, property comes up, you want to use bonding. That's an example where you want to use bonding. Mm -hmm. Now for cars, for example, trucks and things like that, I think they have to figure out a way to add that in the operational cost every year. Maybe instead of buy, buying five or ten at once, mm -hmm. we buy two every year. Yes. You know? So it's a little bit easier. I mean, a hundred, it, it'd be less. It'd be like maybe 80 to 90 to mm -hmm. buy two cars every year. They can put 80 to 90 in their budget instead of one big you know, uh, uh, expense. What what projects do you think that um, coming now, starting a new a new year in July? We've been starting a new, a new year in, in three months. <laughs> yeah. um, what projects do you think in FY16 that would be a good idea to hmm. bound for? Uh, well, there's a couple of things. I think right now. With everything that's happening on the state level, I don't want us to miss the opportunity to get a new high school. Because mm -hmm. the high school is in poor shape mm -hmm. when you walk those halls. Now, that's a whole different thing we could talk about very quickly. I'll try and summarize it. In that particular case, the state covers about 80% of the cost. Mm -hmm. So if it's a $100 million school, they're going to take $80 million and pay for it, and the city only has to pay $20 million. So it's a good deal for us. And we, we but definitely... But it goes the whole year. Right. That's the thing. In that case, total right, the whole total, bond. the whole total. Um, in that particular case, there's also something else the city could do, which is called a debt exclusion. Mm 
Mm -hmm. What that means is that they would add the question to the ballot, do you want to do a debt exclusion? And they will calculate it. So they'll say, you know, it's going to take the city 20 years to pay the 20 million, a million a year. So your taxes are going to go up just for the project, for that project. 1% until it's paid off. Mm -hmm. Those are the two options. So when it's that big of a project, sometimes that's what the city will do. And actually, I think that's fair. So the city has a voice, the people of the city have a voice in that project. Mm -hmm. And then if it fails, it fails. And if, if that's the case and the people um, choose to pay a, an extra 1% on their tax, when you bond for that project, will come out still come out out of those 20? No. That no. comes it in the comes total? Because okay. every year you're raising the amount. Okay. Immediately, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so in this way, the, the the twenty million is still available for, for other bonding, projects. Yes. For other Correct. projects. Correct. If they do debt exclusion, that's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Uh, so uh, it's very complex. I mean, a lot of the stuff is very complex, and I've had to do my own research and study it. I also went to school for a lot of these things, so I've been I've been very knowledgeable about yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Um, but it's really important that people understand that bonding can be a friend to the city if used properly mm -hmm. and if done responsibly. Yes. And you just need the right people there in government to do it properly. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, it has been painted in a negative light many times. And what's funny is, it's not funny actually, it's just, it's a sad irony that one month you have some of my colleagues, some counselors say, I'm not going to bond ever yes. until we do a forensic audit. Until I've heard every excuse. Yes. And then the next month they're bonding for you know, emergencies all of a sudden because we didn't do it in advance for you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, Backhoes for Ken Pacheco, uh, you know, well, all kind of stuff. Uh, now, now we're going to approve a for, bond for stuff for that should not that be right. Bond right, it should for. be in the in the operational budget. Exactly. Um, you know, we're bonding because for it's a bad idea. Because 20 years from now, we're still going to be paying that backhoe that probably is going to be gone in 20 years. In less than 20. <laughs> in less than 20 years. years. And we still and we still be paying right. for it. But land or a brand new like pier, for example, mm -hmm. uh, the city pier. Things like that that are going to be around for long, long times mm -hmm. are the projects that the city should bond for. Um, and now that we are getting into uh, probably a new directions in our city, we, we are trying the best, and the mayor is trying to attract tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why he created this new position. Uh, uh, Which he's put on hold. Oh, it's put on hold. Um, so I think that that bond that we need, that total, we need to kind of work and divide it so we're not missing any good project that right. will come on the future during the year. That's, during that's the year. So if we use 20, uh, let's put 10 10% uh, for tourism, 15% for streets, you know, let's divide that. Exactly. And so this way we don't miss any, any good opportunity that comes, mm -hmm. we can have that money there Ready instead of using empty the whole thing exactly the beginning of the year and then we miss some good project because we don't have a way to get them done no you're money. absolutely right i mean that, that's that's something that's very very important to me is you have to you have to attract mm -hmm. not just tourists but day travelers that mm -hmm. are going to come from providence or from boston or from mm -hmm. around here into the city to eat to have some fun that's the first thing. Then you have to attract businesses that those people are going to go to. You yes. know, we have so many great businesses, mm -hmm. local businesses in the Flint, businesses in the North End, businesses in the South End, businesses in downtown and along the waterfront. But they're not being marketed properly. There's no cohesive plan for the city's mm -hmm. future. Mm -hmm. A developer wants to know that this city has a positive future. Mm -hmm. And if it's, meh, I don't know, then they're not going to invest their money here. Exactly. Because they want to make sure that they get the highest return on investment. And this is the other thing I, I want to say, too. That's so, so important. The city is like a corporation almost with investors. The investors are the people, mm -hmm. people's money. They're giving the city money in tax dollars. Mm -hmm. But lately, over the last several years, people have been paying more for fees and taxes and getting less from mm -hmm. the city. Mm. Not great treats. They're not getting good treats. They're not getting the best education that they possibly can get. They're not seeing a cohesive plan. They're seeing property values in some cases decrease. So of course you're going to have people that are upset and, and say, well, where are we going? What's the plan if I'm investing all this money? Because people in Florida can live somewhere else. They don't have to live here. They've chosen to live here. They've chosen to have businesses here. They're mm -hmm. paying their taxes every year, the majority of people. Mm -hmm. They need a return on investment on those tax dollars. 
Mm -hmm. The people are not here to be a piggy bank for government. Mm -hmm. They're there to get a return on investment, and it's the government's responsibility, mine included, I'm hitting my mic, mine included, um, to make sure that people get a return on investment, get mm -hmm. the best quality of life that we can provide. Not higher salaries, not you know more of the same, mm -hmm. but creative solutions that are going to change Fall River's future and create a new city. The city's landscape has changed so dramatically mm -hmm. in the last 50, 50 to 100 years. And it's changed, I think, for the worse. Mm -hmm. You look at pictures from back when Fall River was in its heyday, buildings on every street corner, streamers across the streets, people walk the streets. Mm -hmm. Today, that doesn't happen. In fact, if you look at a map of downtown, you see as many, if not more, parking lots than buildings. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. Yes, and we have, we have uh, a few spots that a few, a few buildings that sooner or later they're going to turn into I hope a not. parking lot. I hope not. There's know? two that I'm thinking, <laughs> but I hope, that, I hope it does not happen. I hope and not. The other problem is if the building was occupied, any building in Fall River's downtown, if it's occupied or if you have a parking lot, which one pays more taxes? Mm -hmm. The building, because it's worth more. Mm -hmm. So every time you knock down a building and add a parking lot, you're taking away from taxes. Mm -hmm. I... I, I I've been I've been saying this for for a very long time, and and it's something that I really don't like to to hear when is um, somebody running for office, putting all the eggs in one basket, mm. and they all put the eggs on the waterfront. Um, I heard um, uh, uh, what's his name, um, um, Ad Lambert, mm -hmm. run with all the eggs on that basket. Every mayor, I think. Then <laughs> Korea. <laughs> run with all the eggs on not that me, basket. Not, not this career, the other career. <laughs> the other career, <laughs> mayor career. Um, and, and, and this mayor mentioned, you know, during his campaign a lot mm -hmm. of times, but the truth is that's not going to be developed at least for another 15 years. Full vision, yes. Full vision. Yeah. Before that, we have that full vision, a lot of business is going to close down in Fall River. Because when we're thinking about that, we still need to support the ones that are in business, the business now. business is already here. Which they're struggling right now. They are. And we counting with them being open and, and being part of the budget, getting money to Close. help us with, with the bills. So that's why I'm saying when we're going to bond, when we're going to bond for, for, for the waterfront, let's bond something for the, to help yes. the business already here. Definitely. They were going to help us to carry over right. until we have that project done. You're and uh, right. <laughs> um, half an hour went by so That's fast. So and uh, quickly, always does. <laughs> I want to, uh, I want to thank you. I don't know if you have any, any other, uh, last uh, comment to, uh, no, I to just, add like our I show. Said, I always, I always appreciate coming on, and I always appreciate going to small businesses in the Flint, especially with you. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, and, and all the businesses throughout the city and, and, and talking to people. I meet new people in this city every single day. And the city has such a bright future. But we need to have a plan in place to make sure that the city is going to be successful in the 21st century. Thank you, um, City Council Korea. And uh, I hope that, uh, you know, the best. Thank we're you. Gonna, we're going to keep... Oh yeah, we'll keep talk. helping the city as much we can. Well, that's right. And thank you for coming. <laughs> Anytime. And I'll see you next week, next Tuesday at seven o'clock at night. Thank, thank you. you.